Hello folks, just going to film another 100 logo balls I've just acquired from somebody. Um, just to show you, that's 100 I've laid out. <laughs> I've got just over another 300 there to film, so in total I've just bought over 400 from somebody. Um, I know how long it takes to film about 100 balls, so that's why I can't film 400 in one video. It would take too long, so let me just get straight to it. As far as I know, all these balls have come from golf courses in East Anglia in 2022 or so when they were found so I'm going to film each logo close up and each type of ball uh, because if I ever sell this collection instead of me having to list each ball and what logo I'm just going to say look watch these videos to whoever decides to buy them so anyway here we go Sarah Lee that is a uh, company that makes things like cakes isn't it and is it uh, cake mixtures and stuff like that I believe Titleist Okay, so that's that. Next, the electrical contractors, S. A. Vage and Sons. Never heard of them. And I'm filming each ball to show the condition of the ball, and obviously what type of ball. Because again, as I said in previous videos, you can date the year of the ball by googling or Bing or DuckDuckGo. Which the type of ball you can say that that ball was first manufactured in let's say 2015 i'm just making up for that one and then you'll know when the ball when the logo was printed next ramside golf club no idea where that is never heard of it and i'll also describe the colors because there could be color discrepancies due to lighting etc um that looks to be a very dark kind of a blue for the uh inner flag bits and then gold there's a lot of detail there i'm not going to film ridiculously detailed the rest of the video will take far too long i'm just going to give you a brief overview okay so that's that next visual advantage va again never heard of that that looks to be possibly a tiny little nick to the ball where it's been hit all these balls have been played none of these are brand new out of a packet these are balls that have been lost on golf courses and the person i bought them from has um gone out and found them and then sells them to people he sells me the the logo ones and he sells the other types of balls without logos to whoever he wants southport and ainsdale golf club it's quite a nice logo isn't it ship and sea it's like a, a rose, some kind of a rose. That's a nice logo. Southport, I've never been there. Dunlop, distance 110. The number on the side of a golf ball I recently found out, I used to think, the, quite often they say 90 compression or 100 compression. I used to think that meant like pounds per square inch or something like that, but apparently it's not. A ball that says 90 compression, that means it's designed for a golfer that hits a golf ball at 90 miles an hour. So this is designed for a golfer that hits a... Uh, golf ball at 110 miles an hour sort of thing so harder next Entrymatic never heard of that and if you can ever help with any of these companies uh, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube and tell me say say the time into the video so at the moment you say at 3 minutes 48 Entrymatic is and then explain what the company does that would be very helpful Next, Willis, without any eyes on the eye. Um, Willis, okay, no idea what they do. Pinnacle Gold LS. You can see there's a little bit of dirt. And again, I don't know what method the person I bought this from uses to clean them. Most golf balls you can clean up a little bit more than that. Sometimes the dirt is ingrained into the actual cover. You know, after a couple of years of sitting in sand or dirt, Somehow they some of the material can get absorbed actually into the golf ball, so you can't clean it anymore. Um, and it's hard work cleaning golf balls, I can tell you that, because I do all mine by hand. Next, Mantles Rover. Well, Rover is an English car manufacturer, or was. It was sold to the Chinese, some Chinese company for a pound. And they came and dismantled the factories and took everything to China. Um, so you don't see many Rover cars on, on the road in England anymore. Most of them have fallen apart. Um, Mantles is a car dealer, I believe. 
Don't know exactly where mantles are based, but I've seen it advertised before. Yeah, there you go. And on the other side, I've got mantles Ford. Two logos for the price of one. Mantles Rover, mantles Ford. And because Rover have been out of business in England for a few years, you can tell this ball's a few years old, except it's in very good condition. Next, Maori. Uh, you can see the ball is pretty dirty on this one, Pinnacle. And some of these I do believe have come out of lake. So lake balls tend to get a bit more faded in colour. So instead of being white, they take on a kind of a slightly pinky, you know, the white disappears basically over time. The longer a ball's been in water. Next, TRW. Don't know what they do. 384 PT. Oh, I used to find this type of golf ball. Oh, there we go. Cam gears. That's what they make. Um, 384 PTS 90, I used to find these roughly 1988 to about 1991. So that's how old that ball is. So I don't know how that's suddenly been found now in 2022. Next. God, that's not easy to see. Oh, The Bedford. And I'm trying to see what the small writing is. Oh, I'm going to need a magnifying glass for that. Hold on. Hold on. Oops. Excuse me, I really am. The problem with printing logos on golf balls is sometimes they try and fit lots of information on and you just cannot possibly read it. it it's it's far too small. So let me just get a magnifying glass. I'm not going to be able to film that through there. Let me just do that with my eyes. Hold on. Let me have a quick look. God, that still doesn't help much. That's extremely difficult to read. So it looks like the Bedford Great. Great D E S H something. Something. England. Oh, I'll give up on that. I can't be bothered. It'll make the video too long. Maybe you'll be able to see that in a. On your computer screen, I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can and it loses focus. That was, that's seven times zoom from very close. Maybe you can work that out, that's extremely difficult to see. Callaway Warbird. Next. Rain Bird. Never heard of that. And there's some little dot there that's probably supposed to be an R for registered trademark or it could be the copyright sign or trademark. That's what those little dots are usually. I mean, Rainbird, no idea what that is, what it is. On a top flight, like that. Oh, well, there's a logo on the other side as well. Uh -huh. Well, there was a logo. Rain, Rainmakers, something... Hmm, that's pretty much worn off, isn't it? Something, and then that might be INC at the end. Could it be supply? I don't know. Anyway, if you want to know what it is, you'll be able to work it out. Next. Mercedes Trophy. Okay, so that would be the car company that sponsored some golfing event. Aha. Uh -huh. Listers, Mercedes-Benz, or well, Listers, uh, I presume is a car dealership somewhere. So that's what that is. Next, Watson. Don't know what they do. See, some of these are going to be quick to go through. The ones where it's clear logo will go through quite quickly. Emirates, Golf Club in Dubai. I have a, no desire to go to Dubai. Hogan 392, again, this golf ball, this type of golf ball was around in, again, similar time, about 1989 to about 1992, I would say, for that ball there. That's how old that one is. So it's strange that these are being found now. I can't understand how these are turning up. I have to ask the person I bought this one, because that doesn't make sense. I don't believe somebody would have 
lost that ball recently, so I will ask my supplier. Emirates Golf Club Dubai, nice gold palm tree. At the end of the video, I'm laying them out again over there. Um, so I'll film them all at the end so you can have a look at them all in one go again at the end. These are completely random. I just dumped all the balls out of the bag and picked a hundred. There's no method to how they're laid out or anything like that. I can't work out which way that goes. Um, the Hong, oh cool, the Hong Kong Golf Club. Very nice. Oh, that's a good one to have then. And this it looks like there's wording there on that blue ribbon, but good God, that is almost impossible to read. I'll try a little bit of zoom, but no idea. Now it's going to lose focus. That is the definition of very bad logo design. Dark blue over what looks like some kind of a Chinese snake sort of thing. And then wording, which is absolutely impossible to read. Impossible. That's a bad logo design. Whoever designed that should be lined up and shot. Uh, McGregor, you don't get many McGregor golf balls, I have to say. McGregor is a brand that's pretty much disappeared. Next, Quanta de Lago. Uh, Algarve, Portugal. You can just about make out in tiny writing there. El Quinta de Lago. I think I've already got that. I've heard of that before, so I might already have that logo. Uh, popular type of ball, TP5X. A lot of golfers seem to think they're a good ball, like, like the Pro V1 by Titleist. That seems to be one of the most popular ones. Next, PEDA, the PEDA group. Don't know what they do. Find out if you want. Next. What is that? Cartoon character, is that from, looks like it's something from the Flintstones, doesn't it? With the club hitting something. Is that supposed to be from the Flintstones? I don't know what that character is. Okay, there you go, that's that. Next, Lloyd's Bowmaker. Well, Lloyd's, Lloyd's is a bank chain here in England. One of the biggest uh, bank chains. I don't know what Bowmaker is, but Lloyd's is Lloyd's Bank, so you have to see if that if you're interested. Top Flight XL, this type of ball again used to get loads of these back in between about 1988 and 1992, I would say. Um, so that's how old that ball is. Next, Interlogix, a UTC fire and security company. Not heard of them. That's on a Nike ball. And again, you don't get many Nike golf balls with um, logos, I have to say. Next. Box Cleaning Company. The Box Cleaning Company. Not heard of them. And you can see this ball has been in the water a while. It's probably not going to get those stains out of a ball, as I said. Outsell, TM, trademark, Outsell, not heard of them. Oh, and you got a logo on the other side as well. Is that the same? Yeah, same. Top and bottom of the ball, you've got the same logo. Okay. And you got occasionally, you'll have pen marks on. God, but I presume that was a pen mark. Um, and I've discovered that nail varnish remover removes pen marks from golf balls. Put a bit of nail varnish remover on a cotton wool ball rub away and in most cases you can get the pen mark pretty much off right clobber no idea what they do okay next oh there's another one of those quinta de largo argarve portugal that's in better condition than the other one that's also on a tailor-made tp5 so I've got two of those, so I've definitely got one to swap. I should say, at the moment, I'm collecting logos. I've, I must have somewhere between three and 5,000 logos now. Um, sometime later this year, when we've got some nice weather, I'm going to lay them all out on my lawn, and I'll, I'm going to count them. At the, at, at the moment, I reckon I've got about four, four and a half thousand, something like that. Imprint equipment. 
and as I say in all my videos, I might sell them at some point, but uh, I'm open to offers. I think they'd look really good on somebody's wall, maybe a wall in your office to motivate you to get out of the office and go and play golf. However, however you can think of displaying them, I think a wall display would be the best thing to do because it would take up quite a bit of space. But um, it's up to you. If you buy them, you display them wherever you want. Mock McDonald. Um, that's a uh, building engineering company, I believe. Next. Lineker. Insurance brokers. Not Gary Lineker, the idiot. Lineker Insurance Brokers. Okay, next. Now, this is a really good one. <laughs> Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Restaurant and Market. Now, the first time I ever heard about Bubba Gump Shrimp was in the film Forrest Gump, where Tom Hanks plays a um, young man that gets injured in the Vietnam War and comes back injured, starts doing all these different things running across America and goes fishing for shrimp off uh, a boat with his friend and um, so was Bubba Gump Shrimp a real company before that film? I don't know to be perfectly honest but uh, it does appear to be a real company now there you go next USA Uniform Sales Associates Inc well, self-explanatory. Ultra by Wilson. And that ball's a bit... Yeah, doesn't look too good. Next. UPS, United Parcel Service. I've already got this logo. I've probably got two or three of it. You can see it is slightly scuffed. It's not perfect condition. So um, if this is in worse condition than the other ones, then that'll be a swap or a sale. And I say that because obviously... As well as the logo collection, eventually I'm going to sort out the ones that I do have as duplicates. And I might offer them for sale or swap with other people that collect logos. PGA Tour, um, Professional Golf Association. I'm, I'm sure I've already got that logo on golf balls. Oh, and on the other side, MCI. I've seen that company on the side of a racing car, I'm pretty sure. An indie car. I don't know what they do. Okay, so that's that. Next, what oh, does that say? How many years is that? Oh, that's tiny again. Ten years of the Shire London, designed designed by Sevi Ballesteros. Ah, famous Spanish golfer designed that golf course. Then, okay. Next, Saint Pierre. Don't know where that is. Very good condition ball. Next. Sorok. That looks like the top of a can to me. You know when you pull the ring, used to pull the ring pull completely off cans. That's what it looks like to me, I'm just saying. Sorok. Dunlop distance. You don't get many Dunlop golf balls these days either. Back in the 80s and 90s they were one of the big brands, but now they're, you know minority next pilgrim's pride i think that's a food brand could be wrong and that's on an old pro v1 you can look up the date stamps for these and work out what year it is um the first pro v's came out in about 2001 this could be quite old and this could be a 20 year old ball possibly i could be wrong about that stamp but it's something like that Next one, B, B, E. Don't know what they do. Okay. Next. British Masters. Is that sponsored by Sky Sports? Sky Sports is a um, TV channel here in England, in Britain, that shows all kinds of different sports. And on the bottom, oh, there you go. The Grove official venue 2016. Okay, so that dates to 2016, that particular. 
event. Next, man. I'm not sure whether that's not a recruitment agency in England. Could be. Again, look it up if you want to know. Good condition on that. Next. Coin Golf Club. Very light blue logo. Coin Golf Club. Sounds Scottish, it might not be. Okay, that's it. Next. Flemings. Almost looks like a gun in the logo, it's not. That's just the way they do an F. Flemings. Okay. Next. Brett Vale Golf Club. And again, while you're watching this video, if you want to leave a comment, tell me why you're watching the video. Are you watching it because you collect golf balls? Do you collect logo golf balls? Do you design logos for businesses? Um, let me know why you're watching the video. Acacia Foods Limited. Maidenhead. Don't know what they actually make, though. It's not a brand that stands out to me as I'd know what they make, so. Next. Joy. Don't know what they do, Joy. Okay, next. RSM International, don't know what they do. It's amazing how many companies are in the world you've never heard of in your life. There you go, uh, Chartered Accountants. Robson Rhodes, Chartered Accountants, and then it's also got RSM International. So two logos for the price of one there. Yeah? Next, Moxie Software. Now I use tons of software myself, but I've never heard of Moxie, so God knows what they make software to do, what, what their software does. It's not something major that I've heard of. Moxie Software, I'll have to look that one up. Next. Uh, what does that say? Anybody, I can't even tell which way that's supposed to be. What on earth is that supposed to be? Let's see what ball it is. Intech, you don't get many of those balls. Intech High Velocity. Well, what's that supposed to be? Let's just see. If that's the logo there, if I turn it around, then in theory, the logo should be printed that way. And I cannot tell what that is supposed to say. It looks like a U, and then... Uh, no, but then the A is upside down, so no, it is that way around. A, E... And then it kind of looks like T-E. It's not, it's, that's not a B, because there's a gap. It's almost like, like beta and then N, but I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Crap design. Crap logo. Next, more so. By appointment to the Royal Danish Court. Danish Court, so don't know what they do. That ball is very good condition. Next. RPM Legal, Lawyers with Balls. Now that's that's a good logo design. Big, and then you've got a witty statement. 01480. That's uh, fairly local, I think. That area code. That could be St. Neat's area or something like that off the top of my head. Next, EC, ESC. I think I've already got this logo. That looks familiar to me. Callaway Warbird. Next. Don't ignore those. That's someone's pen marks. That's what you want to see. Lands Banky. Well, sounds like a banky, but uh, what country would that be? And someone's gone over that with pen. NXT Tour is the type of ball. Next. Rockwell International. Well, Rockwell is the company that makes the B1 bomber, which I saw today. Um, I presume that's the Rockwell that I'm thinking about. So Rockwell, yeah, military aircraft manufacturer. If that is, that's a very cool one for me. 
Um, DT Titleist, that's an old ball. 384 DT90. So again, I used to find these somewhere around about, I'd say 1988 to about 1991. That's when that ball dates to. So you see, I know some of you are going to be getting bored saying blah, blah, blah. But if you listen to a video, you will always learn something. I'm, I'm telling you the dates of balls. I'm telling you about companies. See the positive. Next, DMVGA. Kind of looks like a Welsh dragon or a devil sort of thing. Got a nice ship. Almost like a Viking ship. Nice logo. Have to look at what that one is. And some of these pen marks all over it. But the ball's good condition. As I said, pen marks I will remove with the nail varnish remover. Or whoever buys these can do that if I sell them. The Player Club. And you've got a oh, tuxedo, isn't it? It's supposed to look like a tuxedo. The Player Club. What's this ball? Srix and Distance. Oh, there you go. you got that. The Player.co.uk. So. A United Kingdom business, that is. Next. Mercedes-Benz. I think I've already got some absolutely brand spanking you. Never been hit golf balls with Mercedes Benz on them, so this is most likely going to be a, a swap or a sale for me because I've already got that. Next, uh, that looks like a G in red over that, whatever building that's supposed to be. Um, Callaway CB1, and that's funny, CB1 is a postcode in Cambridge, Cambridge, England. <laughs> but that's obviously the, the type of golf ball. Callaway CB1, but CB1, as I said, that's a postcode in Cambridge, England. Next. Uh, that's not too easy to make that one out. Huden Stewart Wolf Limited. Okay. PTS 90, not sure what date that came out, after 1992 or so I'd say, off the top of my head. Next, Nordson, don't know what they do, balls very good condition. Next, Pilot Freight Services. I don't think I've heard of them. I might have even seen a lorry with that print on the side, but you don't really take too much notice, do you? There's so many lorries on the road. Okay. Next. Conqueror. Oh, that's somebody's pen marks. Ignore that. So Conqueror looks like that, and it looks like a knight riding a horse with a... Um, what do they used to... It's called jousting, wasn't it? Where you, you try and strike your opponent with that kind of great big wooden pole. Conqueror. So I don't know what that company does. Interesting name for a business. Next, Bupa, which is a private medical company. Um, they've got private hospitals here in England. If you can afford to go to them, they'll do operations for you at a fairly hefty price. That you know, if you can't be bothered to wait for the NHS, National Health Service to deal with you, you can always go private. If you can afford it. Next, inside pensions, IP. Pensions, do you have a pension? Next, Celtic Manor Resort. Um, off the top of my head, I think I've already got Celtic Manor logo. There's a couple of little nicks to it. It's not perfect, but be okay on the display. I have seen some, there are some people that have done displays of golf balls on walls and they do look really good if you put thousands on a wall. Highgate Golf Club, slightly scuffed logo there. Nice logo, nice big golden wings there. 1904, that would be when the golf club started. That's an old club. 1904. I mean, golf started before that. Apparently, golf began in Scotland. Um, but most of the golf clubs in England started just after 1900 or so. Vodafone, one of the major mobile phone companies in England. So in America, you'd call it a cell phone company. 
Um, they also do broadband and stuff now. And I keep distance. Okay, next. Life Credit Union. Well, that sounds like an American company to me. We don't have, we don't hear about credit unions here in England, so presumably that's an American law. Okay. And again, American balls, how did they end up in England? I know that there used to be companies that would transport, you know, thousands of golf balls from lakes in America and sell them to English golf courses. They'd be called lake balls and they'd you'd typically pay a pound for ones that were in perfect condition. Um, Felden Valley, don't know where that is, but that to me, that's a barn owl. The real birds are white, but on this logo they've done it as black. That's a good logo for me because I'm into bird watching. Uh, distance, there's an eye missing there, it's been scrubbed off. Oh, 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 oh. That's had a good old whack from somebody's eye in there. Uh, bit of a cut to the ball there, you can feel it with your finger. I wouldn't play a ball that's in that state, but somebody's given it a hell of a whack into the cover, but the logo's okay. Next, Celtic Manor Resort. Well, that's that one we've already had on the yellow ball. So that's two from that. DT True Soft. Next, Melia. Oh, God. Villa Itana Golf Club. That sounds kind of Italian or Spanish, maybe. Might not be. Perfect ball. Next, Bridge Engineering Limited. Nice big logo. Oh, and on the other side, the Rose and Crown Thorny Golf Society. Thorny, where's Thorny? And that ball is absolutely, that is mint. That's probably only been hit once in its life. Oh, I'm getting a dead leg doing this. <laughs> to stretch out. Right, next. Where's that? Ah, oh, there we go. WNL, Wichita. National Life. I've been to Wichita, Kansas. National Life, that sounds like life insurance to me. And you don't get many of those. TC2 Tour Balls by Wilson. That's the thing about Wilson. Wilson came up with so many different names for golf balls. So like Titleist, you've got the Titleist Pro V range. They need to stick to one one brand, stop farting around with different names of golf balls. Next. Uh, don't know if that's supposed to be that way around or not. Which way around would that be? I'd say it's probably that way around. It looks like a Swiss flag almost. So I don't know what that company is, what that's supposed to be. Next, Dominican Republic. And I remember when I was at my primary school, so before the age of 11, we had somebody, a child, started at my school that had come from the Dominican Republic and nobody knew where it was. It had to be explained to us where the Dominican Republic was. So. There you go. A fairly poor country by most standards, apparently. Next, what have we got? MX Co. E M X Co. The power behind the message. And then you've got some, what looks like a number down there, which is pretty hard to make out, I must say. That's very hard to make out. So I don't know what they do. Okay. Not too many more to go, folks. Probably just over another dozen. And I'll be done with this 100. Palm Resort Golf and Country Club, Malaysia. Wow. Butterfly logo, some kind of plant logo. Malaysia. How That's quite amazing. Oh, I'm going to run out of battery before I've done these. <laughs> if I run out of battery, um, let's do these quickly. Portal. No, I don't want to rush. If I run out of battery, I'll run out of battery. And then I'll, I'll make another video of the ones that I didn't do. Rolling Meadows, Golf Course, on a Pinnacle Rush, 
That's a nice big logo. Yeah, I'm going to run out of battery, I think. Rotary International. I think I've already got that logo. That looks familiar to me. On the top flight. With a few pin marks I need to remove. Next. Suncoast Resources. Fuel and Lubricants. Never heard of them. Next. Gog Magog Golf Club. That's uh, Cambridge. Next. OCE. I think that's supposed to be. Ultra 500. It's a little bit scuffed up ball. I've got one minute left on the battery. So it's about to run out. I think I'll, I'll stop at this point in case it suddenly comes to a stop. So um, that's an elephant, isn't it? So thanks for watching this. Don't forget, click like if you like this. Subscribe to me. I'll leave a link underneath this video for you to click on to find my other logo videos. I've got well over 50 videos if you want to watch them or if you want to see my entire collection. If you're interested in buying a collection of four or 5,000 logos, watch them all or watch them all for your viewing pleasure, whatever you want to do. Um, so I'm that many short of 100 being filmed. That'll do for now. So thanks for watching, folks. And... Um, Keep watching the rest of my videos when I upload more. Don't forget to click on that link I'm going to put underneath this if you want to see the other videos. Most of the videos I do are, are like 30, 40 minutes at a time. So I've got about 50 of those to watch if you want to see about 4,000 logos. If you're interested in logos, collecting logos, business, whatever, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.